So, hi everyone, bit of a different format today, different video, because I'm having to work from home because of the COVID-19 outbreak. So, lots of people all around the world are having to now quarantine themselves, work from home where possible, and that's no different for me. I'm having to do that because the virus is spreading very, very quickly here in the UK. So, we've all been asked to be as sensible as possible, remain indoors when we can, and that's the best thing that we can all do to try and contain this virus and slow down the spread. So, I hope everybody's sticking to those strict measures, Whatever country you're in, whatever the guidelines are, stick to those and I'm sure things will get back to normal and slow down as quickly as possible. But in this video, just because we're in quarantine doesn't mean we can't learn new things. So in this video, I previously filmed a uh, video of Ronnie O'Sullivan making a break at the Pink Ribbon Tournament in 2015. So I've already got this break on uh, video and I thought what I'll do today is talk through some of Ronnie's shot selection where he's striking on the cue ball, the way he's playing certain shots, so that we can all have a look and try and learn from this break. So let's go straight into the video and we'll have a good chat about it. So the video starts here with Ronnie having this first red over the corner pocket here. So you can see that the black is on the side cushion, that's not in play. It looks like the pink is also tied up, it's just above those three reds, so it doesn't look like the pink will pot. So the only colours Ronnie's got to play with here are the blue, the yellow, the green and the brown. So in this situation here, what you're really looking to do is just pop the red and just bring the white somewhere up the table. As long as you land on a colour nicely, you're perfectly happy with that. So Ronnie's just got then on the shot here. If we just stop that a second. Now the way you play these shots is you don't want to play them with too much topspin. Players think that you need to hit them with lots of topspin and that will then give extra pace on the cue ball and help the cue ball to bounce off the black cushion and back up the table. But actually topspin there is working slightly against you because it's trying to add extra topspin to the cue ball and bring the white towards the black cushion. So what Ronnie will do here is he'll hit a roundabout middle ball so he doesn't generate that um, effect where the cue ball is trying to accelerate again towards the black cushion. So he'll hit middle ball and just let the white come back up the table. So you can see he's just played that shot there and just letting the white drift up the table, seeing where the white lands. And as it happens, he's landed nicely on the green here. So we can see now he's got the red in bulk, so nothing fancy to do here. That's where he's striking on the cue ball. Just a little stun shot over for the red. And he's positioned nicely on this red here. Now Ronnie actually plays here to just play a screw shot to bring the white in between the green and brown here. And he's actually overheat it slightly, so he's finished, finished very close to the side cushion. Now if we just pause the video here again a second, Ronnie can try to pop the brown here, but if we look at what reds are available, there's probably only one red that pops. There may be a couple, it's difficult to tell, but it looks like he's got this red here that's going to pop into the corner pocket that we're closest to here, or he can possibly pop this other red into the right corner. But the important thing here is he's playing, to, in, playing into quite a big area. But the way he plays this shot is very, very positively. So he actually digs down on the cue ball slightly. He's hitting just below centre. And it's a bit like a stun run through. And if you watch the cue, you'll see Ronnie do some feathers here. Do a few. Do an extra few feathers because it's a difficult shot to make sure he's going to hit where he wants. Right through the cue ball. Nice positive shot. Didn't back out of the shot because the cue ball was in an awkward position and he finishes absolutely <coughs> perfectly on this red here. So now he's screwing back here for yellow or blue. Again, you decide whichever one you land on best here, you'll play next. So it looks as though he's landed on the yellow nicely. He was just looking there whether he can get to the yellow, and he can. So potting the yellow. Down for the red that did obviously go to the corner that we just talked about. And now what we'll see immediately here, so if we just pause the video again here, we'll see that the black is tied up on the side cushion. Now, a lot of players here may just choose to leave that black on the side cushion and play up for the blue or a bulk colour again and not worry too much about potting the black. But what Ronnie, Ronnie decides here very early on in the break is if he's going to make a frame-winning break and make a big break, he needs to get the black back on the spot. So if we resume the video, he decides here to play a little gentle shot just below centre, just floating onto the black there. So now if he can pop this black, he's going to get the black back into open play. So reaching around the table, he'd rather reach there than use the rest. And just dropping the black in, centre ball and just letting the white land on this red. 
that's on the black cushion. Now these are very difficult shots. These tables here, these star tables are very, very tight. The pockets are not forgiving at all. So Ronnie here, playing that red, staying down on the shot, and now he's got a very good chance here. Now something to note here, Ronnie plays with his hand off the cushion, and then you can see he shuffles forward and puts his hand onto the table. Now normally, if you're, gonna, if you're going to do something like that, you would stand up off the shot again and completely set yourself up for the shot and walk into the shot again. So Ronnie's the one player really that gets away with doing things like that and he still manages to pop lots of balls, but a good habit there would be if you were queuing off the cushion and then you decide that, no, actually I want my hand on the table here, you would stand back up and then set up for the shot again and get back down to the shot. But what Ronnie's decided here is even with his hand on the table, we can see that his bridge length there is still long enough so that he can use a nice long backswing and pull the cue all the way back to the thumb. And that's important here because he's going to play a cannon into the reds here. So if we resume the video, you'll see nice long backswing, hand right the way through to the chest that we always talk about. Lovely cannon and he's opened up the reds nicely. So again, nice little shot there, just running through for the black. Little flick off the other reds, that was a nice shot. And now we see another clever little shot here. So Ronnie's just looking out of those three reds which one goes. He's just looking if any of them go. And I think what he actually decides to do here is play a deep screw shot and he's trying to leave himself on the red just below the pink or the one that's above the pink as well. So he plays a deep screw shot and the white comes off the side cushion and it actually hits the pink there. Now, some people might say that's a little bit lucky to hit the pink, but actually what Ronnie's thinking in his mind there, if he hits the pink, that's fine because it'll leave him on the red that he's landed on. At the speed that he played it, if he doesn't get the cannon on the pink, he would have been on the red further to the left anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. So you're actually playing for a couple of balls there, almost two shots in one. So he's just potting his red again now, nicely on the black. And he previously looked at those three reds, so if we just pause the video there again, so we saw him just uh, on the last shot that he played on the black, looking at these three reds that are in a line to see whether they would pot. And he's obviously decided that actually they're covering each other a little bit. So he's left a lovely angle here, half ball black here, maybe a three quarter ball black, it's difficult to tell. Um, and he can just play a nice cannon into those three reds that are above the black here. So he gets down onto the shot. And then if we watch Ronnie's backhand here, just watch the way he keeps the head. Once he plays the shot, very, very still, and the hand comes right the way through to the chest. So, hand right the way through to the chest. Didn't move the head until after the shot. And now, all of the reds are potable now. So this is the only one he's landed on, actually. So, little shot here. Bit of right-hand side to come off the side cushion and flick up for the blue. It's a nice pot. The right-hand side just helps you get the correct side of the blue there, so you don't finish short. Now he's just going on and off the side cushion. So he's got a choice of reds again there, but he's landed on this one nicely. So he's probably playing two shots in one here. Down for the black, if it, because he hasn't got much angle, if you don't quite go far enough, he's also got the pink. So he's nicely on the pink there. And then again, little stun run through there because he wanted to only move the cue ball just a little fraction. Now again, just floating this red in here. And now he's nicely on the black again. Now this is an interesting shot. Lots of club players here try to stun this type of shot. But the best way to play these is to play them with top and a little bit of left hand side. So you're playing just above centre, a little bit of left hand side. And what that side does is it will come off the cushion and then it will go a little bit wide and the white will travel towards where Ronnie is now and it will go away from the red that's, that he's playing for. So he'll just float this in, use that little bit of side just so that the white comes wide off the cushion and now he's nicely on this red. Now Ronnie actually here plays to try and pop this red and stay high on the black so that he can just play somewhere in behind the red that his hand is closest to now. But he hits it he doesn't quite get hold of the white as much as he would want. So he tried to stay high there and you can see him, he's a bit disappointed because he's come too far. So now he can't play the shot he wanted and he has to go round the corner with the white. 
I know the white's just come a fraction too far here. So he has to try and pop this red, screw it in. Just missed the red there. But fantastic frame winning break there. And the break only took there four minutes and 40 seconds. So I hope you all found that useful again. So we can see some interesting things there with Ronnie's brake building. So he was very aggressive even from the very beginning of the brake there. He potted a couple of reds and colours and straight away he was looking to try and get onto that black that was tied up on the side cushion. So that's the area you want to get really comfortable with, potting reds and blacks. That area of the table is where you become more comfortable and then start building bigger brakes. So as always, if you did enjoy this video, please give the video a like. If you want to see more instructional videos just like this one, please subscribe to the channel because that just really helps me to keep this content coming. Also, I just wanted to say to everybody, please try and stay safe in these difficult times. So follow all the advice that you've been given and try and do the best you can to avoid contact with other people. So everybody stay safe. And as always, thanks for watching. Cheers.